Just doing a quick video today of uh, backgrounds. I've been out here doing backgrounds for, um, well, this morning. Backgrounds for some, um, for a project that I will do a video on, a collage. And I'm just doing simple light backgrounds that I can um, draw over. I'll show you what I'm doing, but this is what was left on it after I got done. So this is a, um, well, it was 12 hours pull up. It's late now. But I just coated, and I don't even know what color I used. I coated the what was left on the gel plate. And I'm going to pull it up. I'm hoping it leaves some grunge for the next project. But this is um, daily paper. And I'll show you what I do. I just, when I'm done with, with my pro, with my plate for the day, I, I usually coat it with white. I don't know what I coated it with this time. This might be like an off-white or something. And then I cover it with deli paper. And let it dry thoroughly. And this is dry. I accidentally left the heater on when I left. So this is very dry. And what I'm doing now is just unattaching the edges from the plate because that's where it's going to catch the worst. And this is what I usually call it a 24 hour print, but it's not really because it hasn't been a full 24 hours. But it is 24 hours worth of dry, that's for sure. And I'm pulling, I'm hoping it leaves a little bit of grunge the next project. It looks like the very edges and corners are still there and I can peel those off if I wanted to. Okay, this is how the sheet on the... Now I hold the plate down with my hand and pull it up. It's not lovely but it's interesting. And that's what I got from that. Some nice pieces in there, right in here especially. And look how clean my plate is. Just the very edges are all. And this is the sheet I was roll the plate that I was rolling stuff on. Just I wasn't doing any stenciling or anything, but there might be marks from stenciling from the roller. I don't really know what I did. I might have used a dark color on these. I think I may have. Usually I roll it up with white so that I get a good background. Or off white. Like a Titan buff or something. This one I'm not worried about the edges. Oh, this is very dark. This is all the colors that I was working with earlier. That's what you get. And what I like about these is it's nice and thick. This doesn't have much definition to it, but it, it's to use this on my collage for an area where I need shade or something. Nice and thick. All right, so I'll show you what I've been doing. I, I got and I acquired a new bath mat. So I have the one that I did on a video earlier in the month. And then I got this one from... Well, actually, I originally bought it from Goodwill, but it was in my stash all rolled up and not cut. For, I did, hadn't cut it so that I could use it yet, and uh, I'd forgotten I had it. So I must have had this a long time, so I've got those two bath mats to use. And I've been going through my stuff just trying to find things, new things to use, and I cut some new stamps for a project I'm working on. So I stamps and stencils, cardboard and uh, sticky back foam. Most, most I think are sticky back foam. So I'm going to be using those a little bit on this. And then some stencils and then my old, um, these are glue stick stamps. I'm going to use a couple of those. And these are those um, sticky back foam. So, I'm just making some light backgrounds that I'm going to come back in and uh, do some stuff. Ooh, I forgot about this one. This is a 
one I made with all the leftover cardboard bits out. Because I used the thick cardboard on the back of these and all the leftover bits I just glued to. So we'll use that too. So I'm going to start with, I don't have very many greens, so start with a green. And I'm going to mix it with white or off-white, probably white. And today I'm just using my um, Amsterdam paints. So I got this set that I was given as a gift, I think it was last Christmas. The set of, I think it was 12. So that's what I'm going to be using. So I haven't used them. Now it's pretty warm out here. It's cold outside, but that heater's been on. Forgetting whether I, I better do it this way. Yeah, you should be able to see it better that way. And I'm going for light coats because these are going to be backgrounds. This is not. All right, let's make some marks with this new mat. And it has the suckers on one side. It's it's really soft and foamy, whereas the other one's a little harder. And see, it it makes a good impression. I'll show you. But I'm doing these with light colors, but I do want some color on them because I'm going to be um, doing pen and ink over them. I hadn't done a, what I usually do is every, at least every month, every other month or whatever. Now see that paint dried way too fast because it's warm in here. So we're going to refresh it with something else. Do it a little thicker. See if we can get it to come up. Um, I usually do, every other month or so, I'll get a, an artist to use as inspiration. And by doing that, then I research them and I look through their paintings and I, I read books on them if they have books at the library on that artist or if I, have, if I can order one cheaply. Um, and... I hadn't picked one this year yet, so I decided to go with Matisse because I'm into a lot of drawing and now that's nice. It actually pulled up what was left over from that 24 hour, made like almost like lightning. Shame it wasn't in yellow, huh? All right, we're gonna put that down because we're gonna do, go over that. Let's go with, on with blue. Um, so I hadn't picked one. So I picked Matisse because it. I've been doing a lot of doodling and scribbling, and the certain things he does that I really like. I like his cutout shapes. I like his, um, you know, like with the da the dance ones dancing in the circle, which name of which I cannot remember. But um, I like the stuff that he does like that. So I've cut out these. A lot of these are done in the style that he does. People and um, just amorphous shapes and leaves and just odd things. And uh, what I want to do is use that as my starting point and then go in it with pen and ink now you can see what i mean with this one i would use that as a start i'd go in with pen and ink maybe outline this and then do different designs in it and that's the kind of thing i'm going to do but that's what i'm making the backgrounds for to come back with pen and ink i love drawing i just do i've been doing it since i was a little girl. My dad used to bring me paper all the time. Mostly I used to draw, I think I think it probably was typing paper because he used to bring me packages of it that he would get at the office supply store. And I loved it. Do a small section with this. 
And then we'll use the other bath mat. I'm going to have to cut smaller pieces of this. But I cut them the size of my biggest plate is, well, a little bit bigger than my biggest plate. All right, let's pull this up. Then we'll put something on top of that. Like I said, these are just backgrounds. And I will be using for another project. And once again, it dried too fast. Boy, things haven't been drying this. And, you know, that's why I like the uh, Golden Open. It doesn't dry that fast. I can't believe how fast things are drying out here. Probably should shut that heater off, but if I do, it'll get cold out here. Hopefully I don't pull up the red with the white until I'm ready to pull it up. Now let's try it again. It's a nice surface there if I can just get it to come up. I can't believe how fast these are drying. Partially got it to come up and it's actually quite nice. There we go. That is quite pretty. At the end of the video, I'll do a close-up of these. I might do one more thing over that because I do want some mixed color in these. So let's do this. And this. Play with the color right on the, right on the plate. And we'll try that cardboard stamp that was with the leftovers of this one. Start at white, go into the blue, go into the yellow. Now, we will put some stencils over this, like right there, and we'll pull up pieces of it onto that one we just did. And maybe the other one too. Okay, let's pull up the bottom part of this. Let's just pull a little of it onto the middle where it's not that interesting. There we go. See how we got the little not a lot, but a little. I'm not using my tissue to push it down, so I'm not getting a lot. And right there, it's not very interesting. Let's okay, right here is a very boring spot. Now we're going to pull that up over that. Now see, that's very nice, but now I need to get something on this side, right over here. So we're going to pull some more of that, see if we can get some more of the yellow. All right, now that made that pretty interesting. Now that one, the first one we did, would benefit with something over it. Now I'm not pushing in all areas, I'm just pushing a little bit here, a little bit there. And can you see how I just Got area. I don't like this right here, so we're going to go back over that. Hopefully pull some yellow in. There we go. I like that. And as you can see, it will look really interesting when I go over it. And I'm going to pick up what's on here. There's some crinkled tissue. I still have leftover Christmas tissue. So we'll start working on a sheet of it. Pull up all the leftovers. Not going to be much because this paint is not staying wet. All right, so what we're going to do now is get another print by going over the top of this with something. 
I am getting real low on my uh, Amsterdam. There's almost nothing in there, so I'm going to cut the end off. I mean, seriously, when I squeeze, I get almost nothing out. But if you look in there, there's still plenty of paint in there. So I'll just use something to go get that paint. And I'm using a popsicle stick. Now you have to, if you're going to do that, and then you're not going to use everything that's in there, you're going to have to put it in a plastic bag so it doesn't dry out. Or tape the bottom that you just cut shut. I don't know what I'm going to do, but... We're going to pull this up, and then I'm going to use that cardboard leftover plate on the next one. Oh, I'm not getting much of it up. Oh, it's pretty, though. Somehow there's some paper stuck on here. Might have been paper on that tissue. Let me fix the spot, and then I'll show it to you. All right. Look at that. That is so pretty. I'm going to leave that as is, not touching that at all. Now we got to <clears throat> do something else with this. We've done, let's do an orange. And we're going to pull some of that white into the orange. Because I want them all really light. Really light. What is this paper? I don't know where this paper is coming. Pieces of paper, and I don't know where they're coming from. I cleaned the area up after I uh, did all the paper cutting. I did it out here. I usually do the cut paper cutting and the inking in the house. But I did it out here. All right. And just this little stamp here for this, what's left. And I'll use it to see it sticks because it's the first time I've used it. It's an interesting. Now I'm going to take this that I did over there and put it in areas that I don't think came up all that interesting. There. So that repeats it, pulls it, pulls that pattern through a little bit. Now let's see if it's, it's probably dried already. I'm sp I'm spoiled using that golden open. I'm not used to things drying anymore that quick. In the winter in Texas, it shouldn't be drying that fast. But like I said, I have had that heater on. I left it on accidentally. Oh, but what I got is nice. But too much white there, so I'm going to take it and see if I can get rid of some of the white. All right, that did enough. Now that is really interesting. Actually, too much white for me normally, but when I get, once I get the pen in there, huh? some of them I'm going to stamp over and then do pen and ink, and some of them I'm going to just do pen and ink. Let's get some more of that white out. Let's maybe do a red this time. I'm going to have to find a longer stick because there is a bunch in the top. All right. Let's do small dots of different colors. And mix them all in together. And I do mean tiny dots of color. Ah, not that much. I'm overdoing it. Too much paint. That's my mantra. Oh, I don't want brown. I did use brown on some of the others, but I don't usually use it. You can mix a good brown. Okay, now let's mix that in with the already dry white. A little 
wispy clouds. Move the blue around. Now let's go for the yellow. Move the yellow around. I don't know why that yellow wants to dominate, but it does. All right. Let's go back with this. Just a light touch. And let's put this in where there's nothing. These are those uh, very old um, hot glue. That's what that is, hot glue. Now, I don't think that's going to pull up. I mean, that's going to be dry already. So we're going to go get some more of this white. We'll use the end of a straw. Get all the way up there. Yeah, there is quite a bit of white up there near the end of the tube. And this is my... I, I was determined not to order any supplies this month. Use up what I had month. So, I'm at the end of the Titan buff, so I'm going to have to mix my own, because I do have a big tube of just plain white. I need to put that there right away. I'm working off a pad, so I'm going to have to separate it. And this is just a pad of the cheap drawing paper. I think the last one I've got from the dollar store. They don't carry it anymore. Or at least they haven't had it in a while. You know how they are. You get stuff and you don't see it again, or you do. And then, then it comes back. Now, it's not all coming up, but that's okay. Enough of it that looks nice is coming up. Now, there's a little white there that I don't like. I'm going to see if I can pull other areas with cover that white. I got most of it covered. And there's that. Now that's going to be pretty. And I might do those um, uh, I forgot what it was. The graphic. Um, oh! My memory today. I've got a cold I got out there and got, it was rainy and wet, and, and so I had to take some DayQuil today, so I'm like, kind of blurry-brained, which I am most of the time. Neurographic is what I was trying to think of. I might try some neurographic art on that one. Now I'm using this tissue for pulling off things and cleaning up my other gel plate with it. Give it a good push. I want to take get as much as I can off it. And then I will use this in my... And see you get different areas and by the time this thing is full it will be really interesting and I'll have things I can use. We'll do one more and maybe I will do the brown because I was doing the brown earlier. But let's redden it up. Put the brown and the red together. And this is a nice set of paints. I'll put the link to the... Um, I think I got it last Christmas as a gift. And really good colors. A good selection. There's 12 of them. I don't think they came with any... Um, uh, any mediums of any kind just it's just the paint but it's the uh, Amsterdam and they're a good set if you want to try Amsterdam I, like I said I got them as a gift and I had them on my Christmas list but by the time Christmas came around I had already purchased some Amsterdam and loved it so those that that set kind of has sat on the shelf 
And I'm trying to get stuff out and use it up. And do new projects with stuff that I've had for a while. These are those 8 inch stencils. I have a link to them on one of my videos. They're really great. Well, once again, this is probably dry as a bone. It's not very brown. Let's put some more brown in it. It's kind of pink. We'll tone it down with the brown. All right. pulled some up. I don't believe it's still going to be wet enough to do, but let's try. <clears throat> we'll do something over it if it doesn't all come out. But this is what I'm doing today. Backgrounds for my pen and ink. And I'm actually going to do a video on, on the pen and ink. I'll bring the stuff out here and do it out here. Now that new stamp is really pulling up the paint. When they're new, they, they really do a better job of pulling up the paint. Once they're coated in acrylic, they don't do as well, but I still like them. Now we're going to do another one over the top of that one. This time we're going to go with a yellow okra. Ochre, ochre, ochre. I think it's ochre. I don't know. I've long stopped worrying about how I pronounce things. There's only so many things I can worry about, and that's not one of them. Let's pull up over here on the side so it'll complement that, what we've already done. And this down the middle. And if we hurry, maybe we can pull it up. I can't believe how fast this is drying. And usually Amsterdam doesn't give me any problems, so I don't know. I, I'm determined to use that up until it's gone. But it's giving me frustrations. Okay, so this looks better. Nice. Okay, so I'm going to come down and go through the ones that we did <clears throat> today. This is all of them. And I'll pull the camera down and go through them one at a time so you can see a close-up. Move this as close as I can. I guess that's as close as I can. Okay, here's one. This has some nice color. And this, these stamps, the <clears throat> these are the just plain cereal box cardboard with hot glue on them. And I draw out my design and then just go over it with hot glue. Let it dry. It's perfect. Let's see what nice designs I give you. Okay, this one was done with the, the eight eight inch stencils. As you can see, that's what made that nice mark. Really pretty, and then some smaller stencils that I have. But those colors are nice. That's gonna look nice. And it almost looks like writing there, but that's not. That's grunge. Looks like writing. This is the one I stamped over and then went over. This is going to make a nice design. I love this one, and I do not usually love pink, but this one came out very nice. And this is with the bath mats, two different bath mats. This is one of them, the newest one. This is the other one, the older one. This needs work, but it's not bad. 
I, I should be able to do something with it. I might go over it with another distinct color, maybe going this way. And then there's this one, which I didn't like the white at first, but now I like it. There's a lot of white, but there's a lot of options of what you can do with this. So, I have a project coming up where I actually cut areas. I'm going to be doing squares and putting them together. So, uh, there's a couple areas on this one that would, the squares would be really pretty. So, anyways, that's my play today. So, thank you very much for viewing my video. If you like it, please put a like because that drives up my numbers and that helps me grow the channel. Subscribe if you want to see more. And uh, if you want, want to be alerted when my videos come up, they usually come up on Wednesday and Sunday. That's what I aim for. I don't always get that. But um, if you want to be alerted when my videos come up, do the little notification bell and you'll know every time I get one up. You'll know when I'm late, you'll know when I'm on time. Thank you very much for viewing my video, and I really, really appreciate you guys watching these. It's so much fun to have, finally, again, have people in my studio, even if it's only online through this. I don't care. It just feels so much better to have people in the studio again. Thank you very much. You have a nice day.